Hey Joe, it's folks here. Hey Mac, it's everyone here. And today we're gonna to be showing you one of the easiest AI softwares you can use to make your print-on-demand designs. If you guys haven't seen Mac's channel, I will put a link down in the pinned comment of this video. But Mac, thanks for joining me here on the channel. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here and to talk about AI and designing, two things I love. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, if you are just starting POD, or even if you've been doing this for a while, AI can be a massive shortcut for you. Today, we're gonna show you how you can generate images and text and even how to assemble an actual design. So using AI is super powerful, and these are honestly some of the cool examples that are shown on Kittle and images that tons of different designers have created using the AI feature. So as you see, they're super versatile. It really depends on what you're creating. The options are limitless and it's super easy to use and create something beautiful even if you don't have a designing background. And honestly, the real reason to use AI is so that way you can be more productive in your print-on-demand business. Sometimes when it comes to creating designs, if you are creating more quantity over time, that can lead to better quality. And in today's video, we're going to be using Kittle. Kittle is an awesome software. They do have a free plan where you can get all of these AI features that we're going to show today. Kittle has a total of seven different AI features, everything from text generation to vectors and even background removal. Kittle is also a lot more user friendly than other AI softwares like Midjourney, for example. And hopefully by watching this video, you will be able to get started using AI in your print on demand business. In today's video, we're going to be taking you through the process of creating a design with AI from scratch. Throughout the video, we're going to generate some text for a design. We'll also show you the AI pattern maker as well as the vector creator and then we will assemble it into a print file that could be used in your print-on-demand supplier. The first step of what we're going to do today is we're going to demonstrate the AI quote generator inside of Kittle. Now obviously when you're creating a design for your print-on-demand store making sure that you have a great quote is going to be super important and as you can see this quote generator here is going to give us a lot of different quotes. We can first select a niche, we can tell it how many words we want the quote to be and then it will generate 12 unique quotes for us. After clicking generate quotes you will be able to choose your niche. You can see several different options that are preloaded here. You can also type in any niche you want down at the bottom. Mac how about from you any input on a niche here that I could use to actually create a quote for? Yeah knowing your niche is so important and I also think that when you're executing a design having that background knowledge is going to make it so much better. I think you should try the niche fishing. Fishing. Fishing's not something I personally know about, but we'll type it in. Obviously, like Max said, if you're getting started, choosing a niche that you're personally interested in or one that you just have knowledge about is going to be super important. But for us, luckily, even though I don't know about fishing, we can use Kittle to generate a quote for our design. I'm going to go ahead and click on the continue button. From here, we have 10 different categories that we can choose. We can make a funny quote. We can do a motivational quote. We can do a more serious quote, a smart quote. For this, I'm just going to do funny. We can also choose a length. We can choose between two to four words, five to eight, nine to 12, and 13 to 16. I'm going to just put five to eight, and at the top right, we'll click on generate quotes and see what it comes up with. And right here is what actually generates for you. Again, Kittle will generate 12 different quotes for you. I also did this one here where I chose a little bit longer of a quote as well. Depending on what your design is, obviously you'll want either a long quote or a short one. Obviously, Obviously, text is a major part of a design, which is why we wanted to show it to you. But sometimes you could have a design that's not using text at all. A lot of times, print-on-demand products could be really cool if they just had a seamless pattern on them. And Kittle makes it very easy to also generate patterns. Mac, if you want to show us really quickly how to generate a pattern, can you do the same niche as well? Maybe do it with fishing? Yeah, absolutely. I'll show you. It's really simple to do within Kittle too. So once you open an artboard, here, you're able to go down and in the AI generator, there's an option for pattern styles along with all the other things. So I'll just type in our niche of fishing here and scroll down to our pattern. And here there's a few different types. So there's cute wallpaper type artistic. I think for this design, because we're going with a bit of a funny theme. So I'm going to select after typing fishing this indigo option, because I think that that could create a cool fish 
fishing pattern. And all you have to do here is hit generate image. It takes just a few seconds and then it's gonna create a pattern for us. So as you can see there, it just made a pattern that we can use. And even if we wanted to try this a few times, add another word to it, we could. But overall, I think this pattern looks really good for any type of fishing design we could create. And that kind of goes to something I was saying before, where Mac, you just said, if we wanted to kind of play around with this, type some different things in, we could. What's cool though about Kittle is you can just type a couple of terms in and it will give Give you a really great result. If you're using something like Mid Journey, for example, a lot of times you're going to have to experiment with getting the perfect prompt in order to get even a start at creating something cool. Yeah, that's so true. I think even with me personally, when I was trying to use Mid Journey, while it can be done, it just takes a little bit more effort and research rather than just typing in some simple text into an artboard. So far, we've generated text. We also generated a pattern, but inside of Kittle, you can also generate vectors. Vectors are great for for your print on demand designs because they're going to give you a high quality image that could work on lots of different products. Here inside of the Kittle editor, if you hover over this little star at the bottom, it will let you generate images. What we are going to do is we're going to select one of these vector styles here. There are lots of different options that you can choose. We have a total of nine different vector styles for the sake of this video. We're just gonna choose this butterfly one here. Once you select that, you're going to want to scroll up and simply describe your image. For the sake of this video, again, since we are making fishing theme stuff, I am just going to type in striped bass and we will see what comes up. And right here is the image that it generated. We have a rather nice striped bass. What's cool about Kittle is we could then take this and put it into a template to actually make our print on demand design, which Mac is going to show you now. Yeah, so here is our vector fish image here. And what's so awesome is because this is a vector image, we can change the color on it. We can add a border to it. So for here, an example, I can change this to a nice navy blue color and I can go over to the shadows and add a drop shadow on it and adjust that to how I'd like it. There's so many different ways to really create and make it your own depending on what you're making here. But as you see, that just added so much depth to the image versus just having it as it was a normal vector. And what's cool too is starting with something like this, it makes it so much easier to create a design. So if we go over to the text bar here, we can add in some text for this. What was the quote that we wanted to use from the generator? So we got a whole bunch in here, like 12. There's one that says, got bait, got life. I think we simplify it and we just do got bait question mark. Ultimately, just so the audience knows too, Mac and I know that we're not creating like the world's best design ever right now. Basically <laughs> what we're trying to do is show you the power of AI and how simple it can be. Ultimately on your end, you're gonna wanna play with this and you know, maybe try different prompts and do different things with vectors. But for now, let's go with got bait question mark. That could be a funny shirt. Cool. All right. So let's type got bait question mark. And we can play around with this text. You know, I could do this whole line up here. I could put bait down here at the bottom. But what I really love about this too is all of the ways we can transform the text depending on what we're creating. So we can go over to the transformation tool and move our text down like this. We could even use the distort tool, which I love if we were creating something along the lines of putting the text under the fish. There's so many different ways you could get creative with this. So I really really like how that looks too. I think anytime you have an object that's just rounded like this, doing something that borders it in a way can look really nice as well. There's also the option, depending on what you're creating, to add in more text. Or if you wanted this to be something that was custom that somebody could customize, if you're doing it on a Printify product or anything like that, you could add in a fishing club at the bottom or let your customer add that in too. Or just adding in more words to make it seamless to the niche that you're designing for. So, you know, you could add fishing club or different cities or state so just something to keep in mind too as well awesome and then now that we you know have a design file we can just export that we can upload it into our print on demand supplier that we are using and like i said earlier kittle does have a free plan too if you wanted to go in and just sort of play around with some of this stuff you totally could i will put some information about kittle down in the description of this video so i can just drop in this template here move some stuff around 
and kind of just build this out to my own. So as you can see, this kind of set us up for a pretty good design that you could put on a t-shirt, you could put this on a mug, and we would just change in the already curated text to the quote that we wanted to use. So we could add got bait up here with a question mark, and it still kept that beautiful circle that we have. And then like I was saying earlier, you could add in that other custom text that you wanted to. So we could put in Texas at the bottom, we could add in a year, you know, you could really get creative, but I think it's so helpful to be able to use these types of templates because it's going to give you a bit of a creative direction first, you know, just creating something with not knowing how you're going to really execute the design. And that's just so helpful to people that are new as well. And another cool feature inside of Kittle as well is you can actually remove backgrounds with AI from an existing image. So let's say that you had a mock-up or something and you wanted to take the background away from it, you could use the AI product backgrounds tool to do that. Another thing to keep in mind is we generated this fish as a vector to use in our design, but theoretically you could use this along with some of the templates that Mac was showing in order to create a logo for your store as well. And obviously, like I said before, this is going to likely take some playing around with. I would advise you if you're watching this video to spend some time, play around with the features and see if you can create something that matches what you are actually going for. What we tried to do with this video today was show you how easy it can be to generate images for your designs and text and also utilize some of the existing templates inside of Kittle. So again, Mac, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for showing us some design creation stuff too. Anything else you want to say? Any advice that you want to give to people with AI at all? Of course. I think just get to know it, get to use it a little bit. The more that you use it, the more comfortable you'll be and the better your designs will come out. But overall, it's a really great tool and I recommend it for any type of seller, but especially for beginners that don't really know where they're going with designs. Totally agree. Again, thanks. I will put a link to Mac's channel down in the pinned comment below. So definitely check her out. She makes a bunch of awesome print on demand content as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.